the absurdity hey everyone, deal. Welcome I wore back to my channel. Video. And I know, but I know this, this is video the same is going to be my deal. I top wore in the five last favorite. But this, this video, video is, going is going to be, to be my top five favorite blank products. This is a new series I'm starting. Everyone has done this, but it's like your top five favorite eye products, lip products, face products, that sort of stuff. That is what I'm doing today. I will be doing my top five favorite eye products. The first thing I'm going to start off with is a eyeshadow base. This base is literally a dollar. It's from e.l.f. It is the e.l.f. eyeshadow base or eyeshadow primer. It is only a dollar and it works just as good as the Urban Decay one does. Let me just give you a little swatch right here. It's still pretty smooth for a drugstore alternative, but listen, it's e.l.f., it's a dollar, and it does its job. So that is why I like this, and it's just the primer, but, you know, it's really nice. The good thing about this is that it also does not crease your eyeshadow, so I know a lot of people have had trouble with that, but this does not crease your eyeshadow. Next up, I have a mascara. This mascara has been raved about. Literally, everyone and their moms has talked about this, has loved it, has valued it. It is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Let me tell you, it's the best drugstore mascara I've ever tried in my life. Did love the Maybelline Rocket, but this one has just stole the show. It is literally the best thing ever. It is the best like eight to nine dollar mascara you will buy. It is that good. I have the one with the curved brush. And it just kind of looks like that. It is curved. It's a pretty big wand. But I love this mascara. I'm wearing it today. You probably can't tell if my frame's in the way. But it's just, you are not going to regret buying this. Like, it's just one of those things. It's a staple and everyone has it and you just have to buy it. Now, the rest of the products are actually eyeshadows. So let's go ahead and get onto those. Alright, this first one is a cult classic. It is the... Wet n Wild Silent Treatment Trio. The trios in general are like such a classic. Uh, I know Comfort Zone is a huge one, although it's not like a trio, it's more like a palette. But this, like, this was one of the first things I've ever bought for makeup wise. Like, it is gorgeous. You can see the color better right there. But you have the eyelid color, the crease color, and then the brow bone color. And it is literally. It's just, it's so cheap, and it's really good for makeup beginners as well, but it's like so pigmented, like Wet n Wild's eyeshadows. The most pigmented things at the drugstore, I'd have to say. It is crazy pigmented, and these are so easy to blend out. Like, you do not need so much effort to blend this stuff out. Like, it is just that good. And these run like 2 to $3. They are so inexpensive. Next, these eyeshadow singles are pretty pigmented and they are also by Jordana. These are the Jordana Color Effects Eyeshadow Powders. I have 22 Rockstar, which is a really pretty matte pinky shade. Okay, when you first get this one, it's like there's an overlay of shimmer, but once you get past that, it's totally matte and it is freaking gorgeous. They are so pigmented and I'm going to swatch it right here. I mean, come on, pigmentation. Look at that. That is like, so good. And it, these are so inexpensive. The other one I have is 07 Pink of Me. And it's like a pink eyeshadow. It's like a ballerina pink with like a blue kind of undertone to it. I don't know how to explain this one. I don't know if you'll even be able to see it that well. It looks white on camera, but in real life, you need to buy it to see this because it is literally amazing. I don't know if you even be able to see the swatch. There it is. It looks white. I know it looks white. But you need to buy this in person to be able to experience this. They're only, I think, $1.99 a piece. My Kmart stopped selling these a while ago. I'm not sure why, but it makes me really sad because I would have bought every single color. Like, these are just that good. They're super cheap, and they're super duper affordable. Last product. Everyone has been hauling these from the good old Dollar Tree. These are the Milani Bella Eye Eyeshadow Singles. I have been to three different Dollar Trees just to try to find these. It was all the way by my mall. The Dollar Tree is by the mall. And the mall for me is about 45-ish minutes depending on traffic. 
But it normally takes about 45 to 50 minutes to get there. I might be exaggerating, but when I found these, I was super excited. I got them for a dollar each, obviously at the Dollar Tree. I mean, where else would you get them? Um, I did not want to spend like 4 to $5 on these singles. So, of course, when I saw people hauling them, I was like, I have to find those at Dollar Tree. So, I have Bella Silver which is a gorgeous silver color. Like, let me tell you, the pigmentation is absolutely stunning. Like, these are a really nice color to put on the lower lash line to have a pop of color. It is, oh my gosh, the texture is amazing. Oh my God. It is literally matching my background. It is gorgeous. I love it so much. And these are so, so cheap. I mean, if you don't want to spend $45 on these, definitely go to Dollar Tree and try to search for them. Like, even if you had to go to, like, three different Dollar Trees like I did, it's totally worth it. This one is Bella Teal. Oh, my goodness. This is gorgeous. I wore this on Mother's Day. I mean, it's like a mermaid blue. It is the most prettiest blue I think I've ever seen in my life. It is literally a mermaid blue. And it kind of has, like, a green shift to it, but... I mean, these are literally so worth it to purchase at the drugstore. They're literally the best. I need to stop saying that, but they are the best. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope you guys do enjoy these kind of videos. Um, I think the next one I'm going to make is my top five favorite lip products, because, I mean, come on, honey. Lip products are, like, what I have been living for recently. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this little video, and I hope you guys do enjoy the little series. Don't forget to like this video and also comment down below your top five favorite eye products. I'm just curious to see what you guys are thinking and what your favorites are, so let me know down below. And if you have any recommendations, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!